It's been a long, long time. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm finally doing the very requested nose job video. I am currently five months post-op and I'm literally recording it at the worst time. Not only do I feel congested today and my allergies are kicking in a lot, but I'm also pregnant so my face is definitely swollen my nose is swollen um since the surgery i have gained around 20 pounds not how i wanted to show you guys the after but i just have to get this video out there if i miss anything i'll let you guys know in the description or you guys can ask me anything in the comments and then we'll go from there you guys can't even see but i'm like moving my hands a lot because I move my hands a lot when I talk so I am gonna have a lot of before and after videos a lot of before and after pictures because believe it or not some people are like your nose didn't even look that bad but looking back at my old nose I'm just like oh my god like it was really crooked it was really big my nose So also, I hope you guys don't mind. I have a whole set of notes on my phone. So if I'm looking down, yeah, I'm literally reading off of my notes. All right, so let's start off by why I wanted a nose job and how long I've been wanting a nose job for. Well, so since I can remember, I've been wanting a nose job. Probably since I was like in sixth grade is when I actually looked at my nose and I didn't like it. I remember I would tell my parents all the time like, oh, I'm going to get a nose job when I'm 18. And they would be like, you're crazy. Like, why are you going to do that? You're going to change yourself. This and that, whatever, whatever. I didn't really get bullied for my nose. Although my family and friends would say that I had a big nose or if I made them mad for whatever reason that's the only thing they had on me like oh at least I don't have a big nose it didn't become a problem until I became a mother so as you guys know when you get pregnant you guys get swollen your nose gets super big well my my nose got big but with each pregnancy my nose just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger I I honestly couldn't even take a picture without looking straight at my nose so that's when I decided that, okay, I'm going to get a nose job. And I remember this was 2019. And I did follow quite a few surgeons, but there was three in specific that I was um, actually looking at because I liked their work. And I narrowed it down to two. And finally, I narrowed it down to one. So yeah, so this leads me to who was my doctor and how did I find him and all that good stuff so my doctor was dr vladimir gregorians and he's located in glendale california i loved every single picture before and after he would pose i was just obsessed with his work so i was like all right i want to go to him i want to have my first consultation be with him i got my first consultation which was free by the way i know some doctors do charge an x amount of money for the consultation i know you do have the option to do emails like for your first consultation but I did not want to do emails I wanted to go directly to him I wanted to make sure he was the real deal I wanted to make sure I wasn't gonna get scammed you know because a rhinoplasty is a lot of money so my husband and I go to Glendale and I have my first consultation and that was like the quickest consultation I've ever had it was like a three to five minute consultation I did have some pictures of inspiration that I did show him but what really made me decide to go with him was that the day before I had told my husband okay I'm gonna tell him I want this this and that I didn't want like super dramatic very pointy I didn't want none of that because I wanted something that, that fits my face so he takes a look at my nose and literally says to the T everything that I wanted slim down right here take my bump away lift the tip make my nostrils smaller everything he said I was like yes yes and yes <laughs> so like i told you guys this was in 2019 but a lot of things ended up happening i postponed my rhinoplasty appointment two or three times i can't remember and i feel like it's important to mention because we are going to get right on the topic of price so in 2019 he quoted me ten thousand three hundred dollars for my nose job oh my god i was expecting like eight thousand at the most but 
he hit me with 10,300. Fast forward to 2021, they told me that they had raised their prices, so most likely I was gonna get charged a thousand or two thousand more. But luckily, I got so so lucky because I talked to my doctor, and honestly, I feel like he felt bad for me because I had a big ass stroller with two of my kids, and then my husband was in there, so he looked at me and he was like, You do know I charge twelve thousand dollars now, and I was like, Yeah, I know the receptionist told me. He was like, I, I did I already quote you I'm gonna leave you at 10,300 and I was like <laughs> And also, um, they do have payment plans. I know for sure he does cash, he does debit, he does credit, and he does financing. I can't remember th like what that step is because I didn't go that route, but you can talk to him. He's going to tell you all about it. So I got a rhinoplasty, a septoplasty, and I'm going to write it right here because I don't want to mess up the name. I had a deviated septum. Um, I couldn't breathe for shit, so he had to go in there and open it up and then obviously raise my tip and all of that good stuff that I did get a closed rhinoplasty so I didn't get my incision in the middle and they didn't like lift my whole nose up I got two tiny incisions on the sides of my nostrils and the doctor worked through that if you know what I mean so weird all right so we're gonna move on with day of surgery and I know I'm not gonna tell you guys like what I did before surgery and what they told me to do but trust me they do give you a whole paper of what to expect what to do before your surgery what not to eat or not to drink and what to do just to prepare I remember leaving super early in the morning it was like 4 or 3 in the morning because my appointment was at 7 in the morning and by the way if you're able to choose a time I honestly suggest you choose like an earlier time rather than later because the earlier the time it means that your doctor is up bright and early ready for surgeries and sometimes they do multiple surgeries in a day so they might be tired later and like fuck up somehow yeah if you're able to get an early appointment definitely recommend So yeah, we get there and of course, due to COVID, I'm not able to bring my husband in with me, but he is in the waiting room waiting for me as I go in. And honestly, everybody there is super nice. All the nurses are so nice, so friendly, very encouraging. So I really felt comfortable there. And then I do have footage. They did put me in a room where I changed my outfit. I put on some socks. Before anything, before my doctor came in, the anesthesiologist, anesthesiologist, God, that's a long word. So that lovely lady came in and she talked to me really quick, um, told me if I had any concerns about getting put under and honestly I did I was a little bit nervous but I was just praying to God and I was like Diosito you got me <laughs> you know please make me wake up from the surgery and please don't let me feel anything I started dazing off little by little and next thing you know I was dead asleep but you know what the craziest thing was right after I saw her and I went to sleep I literally woke up I felt like it was two seconds later which I believe the surgery took around two hours but yeah as soon as she put me to sleep I honestly felt like I just closed my eyes and I opened them and I was already out of surgery <laughs> Cheese. They rolled me in a wheelchair out of the hospital and to my car. They helped me again. That was very nice. 10 out of 10, I recommend that place. Like, they were very, very friendly and nice. So this is what I look like coming out of the hospital. She a little swollen. My top lip is non-existent right now. Uh, the doctor did tell me that day two was going to be rough. But so far so good because I'm still numb. <laughs> I don't feel shit right now. I'm waiting in the car for my husband because he went to go grab some like juice for me. But I just started feeling hella nauseous and it, my nose started bleeding. I'm gonna see if I can take this shit off by myself. No, 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 no. You don't touch that. Oh, yeah. My husband just changed this because. I got super nauseous that I was trying to puke in this bag. Sorry if that's like too much. 
and then my nose started bleeding I was very lucky to have my family come over and take care of my kids so that way I had nothing else to do my husband his only sole job was to take care of me and as well as my family so I'm very very thankful about that so right after surgery what I was pretty much eating were green juices with a lot of pineapple definitely drink pineapple juice because that's gonna help a lot with the swelling and I feel like I didn't get as swollen as I've seen other people get because I was drinking a lot of pineapple juice you do have to sleep elevated like literally sitting down so I do recommend um, getting like one of those thick pillows this is what I've been sleeping with and I just noticed <laughs> it still has a tag my husband went and got it right after surgery because I was like I don't need it and then I was like bitch I need this and it's been hella they do give you Tylenol they give you some medicine for like nausea and then they give you narcotics so right away I took those shits because I don't like pain I don't like to be in pain so this is day two of how I'm looking like so far I'm not in so much pain right now because I took some meds but honestly I thought I was going to be a lot more swollen than I am and I'm like so happy to see that I'm not that swollen because usually I see girls with like their eyes all puffy but so far so good And also, during the time that I was recovering from my nose surgery, I had stopped breastfeeding my son, so my boobs were literally this big. And you guys know when you stop breastfeeding a baby, your boobs get so big and then it makes your whole body just feel weak. You start to feel really bad. So I honestly feel like that made my surgery recovery experience a lot worse. So if you guys are not dealing with anything right here, then your recovery is gonna be a lot better than mine. Okay, so now a week after my surgery, it's time to take my cast off. And I was very excited about this day, but I was also very scared because I have heard the worst. Like this is gonna be the worst you've ever looked at your yourself in your entire life you're gonna hate it I went in there already knowing that my nose was not gonna be how I imagined it like perfect you know I did not expect to look as bad as I actually did so I do have videos again I'm gonna show you guys but oh my god y'all I'm just gonna tell you guys please do not be scared because that is not how your nose is gonna look Green, okay? Uh huh. Alright. Oh, this isn't hurt, don't worry. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> They're just gonna cut your stitches out and then you're done. Holy shit. Do you mind if you're in it? We're gonna start here. Okay, let me see. Uh huh. Put pressure okay. and then bring it down. Doing okay? Uh -huh. So you want to put pressure when you're taping your okay. nose. Okay. Because that's going to help get the swelling down. Uh -huh. So like right there, you're going to push and then bring yeah, it down. It's super swollen. Yeah. <laughs> But then you know why I took a step back and I was like, you know what? Everybody says this. Everybody says that this is going to be the worst that you're ever going to look. So I let that go. And I was like, okay, it's going to be okay. I just have to have patience. And you do have to have patience with this surgery, y'all, because it literally takes a whole year for the swelling to go down and even longer for some. All right, so a quick little update. Yesterday, they took off my cast and they put this like tape thing on my nose. I look fucking crazy. I look weird. I look like a little pig nose. Um, I'm swollen still 100%. Oh. I still can't move like this whole part of my face, including my top lip. Like if I smile, like I can't even smile. But oh. this is what it's looking like. Within a month, the swelling went down a lot. You would not believe. Even by two weeks, the swelling went down. So I was very, very pleased and happy with how the swelling was going down. Day 11.
this lip i still can't move it as much um as well as my nose like i can move my nostrils <laughs> so i did my makeup for the first time in hella years actually i don't do like dramatic but it's the first time that i like do my makeup with the nose and i couldn't really blend it because like it still hurts a little bit And then I do want to mention, and this is what I talked about on my Instagram stories. And like I said, I have it on the highlights. My nostrils. So this would be the only thing I have an issue with. Right now, my nostrils are not symmetrical. So one of them is thicker than the other. Like, let me get close and personal and show you guys just so you guys can see. I'm getting a little bit nervous. I can tell that this one is smaller than this one. I don't know if it's because it's swollen right now, but I can definitely tell. Let's see what else. All right, so now I'm going to talk about today. Like at this point, how do I feel about my surgery? How do I feel about my doctor? Um, do I recommend it? Do I regret it? Like all that stuff. Do I regret my nose job? 100% no. I do not regret it. Would I do it again? Yes, I would. I love the way my nose looks. I love the way it fits my face. I am very, very happy with the doctor that I chose. Like, I honestly trusted him 100% from the beginning. So I knew he was going to deliver. I knew he was going to do a good job. And he came through for me. The only thing, um, I am not able to breathe 100% still. And I want to think that it's because I've been sick and I have allergies. So that can be contributing to the fact that I'm always congested and I can't breathe. For a few months, like I, I would say like a month and a half after my surgery, I sounded completely different because my whole nose was open and I was able to breathe and everything was perfect. But then later on, I started noticing that I was getting clogged up again and I wasn't able to breathe. Honestly, if it continues to be like this, I will have to go in and have to get that surgery again to open up my nostrils. To be able to breathe because that's literally one of the main reasons why I got my nose done. <laughs> yeah, but other than that, like, I love it. I, I love how it looks. I love taking pictures now. Honestly, did I care about anybody saying that I was going to get a nose job? No, absolutely not. I was going to do this for myself and that was it. I was, like, I had nobody to please but myself. And again, my parents were very supportive. Granted, they wanted me to get a nose job because they wanted me to breathe. But obviously the cosmetic you know they can't tell me anything about it all right guys don't forget to subscribe give this video a thumbs up let me know what you thought about it let me know if you want to get your nose done after this and i'll see you guys on my next video